All right, this your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Man Gets S T A B B E D in Birmingham. All right, I'm going to spell it out because. I don't know how YouTube was going to act if I just say that word right off the rip, you know, <laughs> so I'm just going to be careful about it because I did learn that, you know, uh, when it comes to uploading YouTube videos, there's certain words that you can't say. I think within the first uh, like minute or two or something like that, you're supposed to keep it G. <laughs> you're supposed to keep it PG. All right. You're supposed to keep it clean. But um, like I said, the name of the video is going to be entitled Man Gets S-T-A-B-B-E-D. In Birmingham, all right. Now, uh, got a spice to do this lesson because exactly what I just said, all right. And um, pretty much over there in the UK, there was a bunch of niggas. Pretty much, you know, I'm not gonna show the video because the video is very graphic, and I already know that YouTube is gonna flag me if I show the video. But um, as you can see right here, and this is how you know it's Jake, all right. It says he dead, fam. Onlookers laugh as man bleeds out on Birmingham Street after being stabbed in neck. All right, and it says disturbing video shows a man being stabbed in the neck on a UK street before collapsing to the ground. As onlookers laugh, he dead. All right, now you know if you want to look at the video, you know you can go to this site or you just type in man being stabbed in Birmingham. It's gonna pop up immediately. All right, because it just happened recently. It happened on August 27th. All right, or the day before, or something like that. And pretty much within a video, it's this man uh, with his dog and his uh, girl. And I don't know the whole story, of course, of course, because, you know, the Internet only showed a small portion of what happened. But pretty much within a video, this man got into it with these Jakes. All right. And then the next thing you know, one of the Jakes pulled out a knife and uh, he swung at him. He swung at him twice. And the second time when he swung and hit him in the neck, he stabbed him in the neck. You could just see. All of the blood and everything fall out immediately. Just spill out immediately, man. All right. And once the man realized that he got hit, he stopped trying to have an altercation. And he pretty much just grabbed what he had and he was just walking down the street. All right. And then the next thing you know, it fast forward. Somebody uh, uh, clipped it to the point where uh, you just saw the man on the ground bleeding out. All right. And then that's when Jake, those niggas, all right, came around. It said this, he dead, fam. Onlookers laugh as man bleeds out on Birmingham Street after being stabbed in the neck, all right? So, uh, fast forward, the dudes that, uh, um, you know, that stabbed him, they were arrested. I think they said they, they arrested like four people or something like that. They arrested him. I don't know what the charges are right now, but the thing is that really inspired me to do this lesson is because activities like this are going to be the norm in America soon. People are going to be walking down the street and they're going to be running for, uh, running for their lives, man. They're going to be running for their lives. They're going to be afraid. They're going to realize like, wow, this is not the America that I knew. And they're going to realize that it is Jacob's trouble. They're going to realize this is the downfall of America. All right. So we're going to read a little bit of this. It says, disturbing video shows a man being stabbed in the neck on a UK street before collapsing to the ground in a pool of blood. As onlookers laugh, he dead. West Midlands police said a 34-year-old man has been charged over the attack in Birmingham on Friday, which was filmed and shared on Instagram before going viral on X. And that's another thing, man. These new generation people, I ain't even gonna say new generation. This social media has definitely driven a lot of people crazy. Back, you know, I don't mean to sound like this, but you know, back in the day, Whenever you were doing something to the point where you knew that you were getting ready to get arrested or you'll get in trouble for it, you did not want people to know. You did not want people to know you would keep that shit on the low. But it's different now. Anybody, everybody feels like they can just post whatever activity it is that they're a part of and they feel like nothing won't happen to them. Just like the dude who posted a video with him committing adultery with that, uh, that Edomite chick. He posted it online and the next thing you know, that video went viral. A lot of people shared it. Then his ass got fired from the job. And technically, he should have been put to death, man, because that dude is a straight-up adulterer. 
because he posted another video where uh, he was with another chick. And she made he made that chick break up with her boyfriend at that time, man. And he was like, "Look, why you break up with him?" He was like, "Man, I didn't, I ain't want to, I ain't want y'all to, uh, you know, break up. We was just fucking around. That's what he said. So technically, worse should have happened to him, and you know, worse may happen to him uh, if the most side decides to um do something. But you know, if he keeps that activity, that behavior up, you best believe the most side gonna get him, man. Most side gonna get him. He's just saving him for the right time." But anyway, getting back to the point, like I said, that dude posted videos on social media. Now, these dudes posting videos of them actually attempting murder <laughs> on, on somebody. They post that on social media. That uh, that rapper from Philadelphia over here recording himself digging up a corpse. Recording himself digging up a corpse. Then they posted that on social media. And now look where it's getting them. When that dude was digging up the corpse, guess what happened to him? He died not too much longer later. Now, look, these dudes posted a video of them stabbing this dude, and they thought nothing was going to happen to him. Now, look, they arrested. They in jail. So this is one of the keys that lets you know that this social media shit got to go. This shit is dangerous. People don't know how to act when it comes to them presenting themselves in front of the whole damn world. All right? But let's continue to read. It says, the victim age in his 40s, miraculously survived the stabbing which left him bleeding profusely from the neck. Video showed the victim who was pushing a trolley and walking a dog with a female companion attempting to fend off the attacker who lunges at him and takes several swings with the knife. You know, and they got it blurred out. Hold on, let's read more. Hold on, hold on, where does this go? Scroll back up a little bit. All right, here we go. As you can see, you know, there go Jake. All right. And then you can see he's trying to defend himself, and then it happened. All right. Then it says a crowd of onlookers can be heard laughing and jeering at the man, calling him <laughs> a, a pussy. <laughs> next shot, next shot. One person says in the video, see, this is how you know this is Jake, man. It says the victim is seen holding his neck as blood gushes from his wounds leaving a trail of blood as he walks away. Another clip filmed from inside a car shows a man collapse on the pavement next to his dog. He dead, he dead fam. The people filming laugh as they drive past. See what I'm saying? This is a serious situation where somebody is literally getting ready to die. And a lot of people don't realize when you, you know, record these videos or something like this, you know you are pretty much affiliated with the situation now because you're a witness. I would never want to be a part of any situation like this. If I see, you know, if I even see something like this happen, I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing to do with this shit, man. I'm gone. This is none of my business. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be part of none of this, man, because you don't know how Esau going to act at all when he, gets, get ready, when he gets ready to gather up whoever was involved in this shit. But anyway, it says, the stabbing occurred just before 1.30 a.m. on Saturday at the intersection of Dudley Road and Belfield Road in Winston Green near the city center. Police initially arrested four people on suspicion of attempted murder, three men aged 34, 29, and 26, and a 22-year-old woman, all right? So you can see, like I said, it's blurred out. You can see they blurring it out. And it says, but on Sunday night, West Midlands police said only one person had been charged and only with wounding. Risa Geddes, 34 has been remanded to appear before magistrates in Birmingham on Monday, police said in a statement. He's been charged with wounding and possession of a knife. The victim was taken to hospital where he remains in a stable condition. We are aware of social media reports that he was with the baby in a pushchair at the time, but this is not true. He was pushing a trolley of belongings, police said. Video circulating on social media showing the incident forms part of our investigation. At this stage, detectives, detectives are not looking for anyone else as part of the investigation, and it is being treated as an isolated incident. So at the end of the day, man, still, you know, this is Jake out in the streets wilding out, all right? Like I said, we don't know what the full story is, what's the background of why this was happening in the first place, but for what you get, for what you've seen, all right, it's just nothing but Jake out here wilding out, all right? Dude was probably just trying to walk down the street, trying to get away from them. You already know Jake be on bullshit, man. 
Jake be on bullshit all the damn time. But the thing is, the most high is going to get it to the point where even people like him are going to experience the same thing that he did to that man. But it's going to be way worse. And this is what Jacob's trouble is going to consist of, man. Let's start off with this first. Hebrews chapter 10. All right. Go to verse 30. It says, For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. The Lord is going to judge all of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, man. Whether you live in America or you scattered across the other parts of the earth, man. All right. I don't, we don't care if you are a Negro in America or a Negro in the UK. If you're not right with the Most High by the time it's time for Jacob's trouble and it's time for our Lord, Yahweh Shai, to come back, the Most High is going to judge you. He's going to judge a lot of people, man. He's going to judge everybody. Because it's going to be with a righteous judgment or a wicked judgment. Point blank, period. But the Most High is definitely going to get a lot of you niggas out there, man. Because y'all really, y'all need death. That's the, that's the reality of it, man. A lot of y'all do not need to exist. A lot of y'all need to be put down and y'all need to come back in the kingdom in y'all right mind. All right. Verse 31, it says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Like I said earlier, this is going to be a norm. When Jacob's trouble hits over here in America, man, people are going to be walking down the street trying to get away from things, trying to get away from these dangerous situations. And the most High is going to make sure that you get caught out there, man. People are going to have way worse weapons, too, because that's like it was a video with this Edomite uh, dude who had a chainsaw and he was chasing this, uh, this woman down the street in broad daylight with a chainsaw. All right. He had a chainsaw. You already know other people are probably going to have uh, axes, mallets, <laughs> whatever weapon, man. Bats, all kind of things, man. Because the thing is, when everybody realizes that shit is hitting the fan, people are not going to know how to act because they don't know why this is happening and they're going to look for some type of safety and relief immediately. They don't have what we have, which is the fear of... And the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of you. How about some y'all shot? They don't have that stability. They're not going to know to keep calm and just to keep it moving when that time comes, man. They're going to be desperate to get out of that situation. But guess what? The Most High is going to allow situations like this to happen to a lot of individuals out here, man. And he is not going to discriminate whether you are male, female, two years old, or 85 years old, man. You can read that in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. He says, spare not, right? He says, spare not. Women, men, children, old people, all of that, man. The Most High doesn't, he don't care, man. He's like, look, if you're not right with me around that time, that's it. That is it, man. Let's get Matthew. We're going to get Matthew 24. And let's go to verse um, 11. And it says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Iniquity, iniquity is what? Iniquity is sin. All right. The more and more that evil is present here in this world, that's the worst it's going to get to the point where people are not going to be thinking for themselves. They're not going to be thinking about other people. All right. They're just going to be thinking in a moment, doing whatever it is that they want to do in that moment, being wicked. All right. And so it says the love of many shall wax cold. When that time comes, man, it's happening right now. A lot of people do not care about other people at all. Just like when 2020 hit. All right. And them stimulus checks was going out. Jake was over here killing their own family members just so they can get that, that weak ass two thousand dollars, man. Because I believe or was it fourteen hundred? It's some shit like that. I forget. It may it may have been different in different states. But um, I just remember, you know, they was giving out like $1,400 to $2,000 per person. Jake was over here probably living in a house with like 10, 15 people and realized every single person in that bitch was about to get paid. <laughs> and they was like, man, look, Jake over here trying to scheme on their own family members. And that happened. They tried to, you know, get their money. And then the next thing you know, Jake was out here killing their own family members just so they could come up on $1,400, man. And guess what happened out of that situation? They got locked up. And some of them some of them died because of the situation that happened. Some got shot. Some just got into fights and other things happened. 
But it says the love of many shall wax cold. And that's exactly what's happening, man. Here it is, man. Like I said, it, it, even though you can tell it's dark outside, but still, these, these dudes out here got the nerve to attack a dude, right? With the knife. And like I said, record it. Record it, man. They're proud of the evil spirit that they have. They love it. They love it. But at the end of the day, like I said, the most high is going to humble them too. He's going to humble them as well. Verse 13, it says, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. All right. So this is why we in this truth. This is why we pray to you. How about Shemiah was shy every single day? Because we want to be saved out of the trouble that's getting ready to happen. Because we know how wild it's getting ready to get out here, man. We know it's about to get superbly crazy. Let's get Amos chapter three. Go to, ver go to uh, verse four. It says, will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he hath taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? Exactly. And you see it's all caps, which means this is Yahweh. Because you already know he's in complete control of everything. It says, shall a, tr a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is putting evil spirits upon these people out here so they could pretty much bring judgment upon each other. That's how cold the Mosai is, man. The Mosai doesn't need, you know, to come down here and bring judgment upon people himself, man. He could put the spirit upon other human beings upon different animals or whatever and he could give those certain people or animals instructions in their mind to go out there and wild out man and bring it upon whoever it is that deserves to be put to death man and that's the scary part that's the scary part man this is why you're supposed to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot the most I can literally put a certain type of spirit on one individual you could be walking down the street minding your business trying to get out of dodge and everything like that and the most I can be like Man, all right, let this dude, you know, pick up this weapon or do this or do that. And we're going to make sure that he or she walk over here. And then there won't be no way for them to get away. Then the next thing you know, that dude that was looking at them from a block away, scheming, he going to make sure that that dude catches them at the right time. And then the next thing you know, it's over for them, man. The most high is the greatest chess player, man. And that's why I said, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? Whenever you read articles like this, this is how you know the Lord is out here because the Lord allowed this to happen. He allowed this to happen, man. And as we all know, ultimately, he's going to allow things like that to play out for, uh, you know, for a decent amount of time. But then the end all be all is going to be when Yahweh Shai comes back, because then that's where we're going to see the angels. That's we're going to actually see our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and they're definitely going to be putting a lot of you two-thirds to death, man, along with a, these other heathen nations. That's when the end-all, be-all is going to happen, and that's when, that's going to be it, because that's when salvation is going to happen, and then that's when the greatest judgment is going to happen as far as the thermal nuclear destruction is concerned, all right? Let's get one last scripture and close it out. Let's get Psalms chapter 19, go to verse 8. And it says, the, st the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. What the Lord just did, as far as that man getting hit, that was a righteous judgment. The Lord allowed that to happen. We just read it. Shall there be uh, evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? And that's why it says the fear of the Lord is clean. And that's what we always say. You got to fear the Lord. So then that way you won't get caught up in situations like this. All right. It says enduring forever. It says the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah, than much fine gold. Well, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. All right. This man, this wisdom and this fear. We want this more than money. We want this more than gold, silver, a big ass house, car, whatever. We don't we don't care about none of that stuff, man. We just want the fear of the Lord and we want the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So then that way we can understand 
what we're involved in and we can understand the move circumspect and to do what's right by you how about shimmy was shy at all times all right because we understand that the judgment of the lord are what true and righteous well like i said whenever you see articles like that the first thing we think about is like man the lord got him the lord got him and like i said these are situations that you want to avoid all right so i'm gonna end it with that like i said uh came across this article a few days ago and uh, when i saw the video i was like damn it's a, it, it is a um very uh yeah graphic video all right <laughs> uh, what they say horrific because when you see it you're gonna be like damn man like fam got caught the dude that got hit yeah he definitely got caught out there man but the lord allowed that to happen all right and then like i said <laughs> dudes like him you know, they be walking around thinking that, you know, nothing can happen to them. They think that they run the earth. They think that they're untouchable, unstoppable. All right. They just think that they just got the, the biggest nuts in the world. And they just, you know, can't be stopped. Man, the most signs about to get ready to put them in situations that they never imagined, man. Just like it says in what? I think that's Isaiah 55. When it says it's going to bring that greatest nightmares to life. Even the toughest of thugs are going to be afraid out here, man. Cause, and that's written in the scriptures where it says men are going to be afraid during the time of the uh, of Jacob's trouble. So at the end of the day, hey, we are at the end, man. We are definitely at the end. We seeing the love of many wax cold. We got them Venezuelan gangs out there in, uh, on the West Coast taking over certain neighborhoods. The Lord is setting this country up for failure. He's setting this country up so it can be brought down and which it needs to be, all right? This place needs to go, and it's about to. Just keep praying so you don't get caught up in it. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles to the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And you have a right to Zod. I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.